So in this video, we'll look at how to integrate the VRA Identity Manager with Active Directory and synchronize user accounts from AD to the Identity Manager, synchronize the groups from Identity Man from AD to the Identity Manager. So before we configure it, so keep the information in handy, like the AD domain name, AD domain name in LDAP format, and service account details in LDAP format, and service account password, and OU details in LDAP format, and AD domain controller IP address. So if you have an access to the domain controller, then I will show you this domain, how to get the details in LDAP format. So you can use that method. If you don't have access to the AD environment, then you can request the AD administrator to provide these details so that these are required during the configuration of the, the integration. Okay. So first, I'm going to the AD server. So I logged into the AD server. So let me go to the Active Directory users and computers and create users and groups. So I'm my domain name is alvra.net and we I have dedicated one OU called as an VRA. So under that we are creating a user account. So I'm creating a user account. So create at least of four accounts, four or five accounts. So it's called as an I create a five user accounts and I'm creating two more user accounts. So I'm creating called as an cloud assembly admin. I'm creating one more admin, CA user. Okay, so CA admin, CA user. I'm creating a two groups, CA cloud assembly hyphen admin. Cloud assembly member role. So I'm adding admin into C admin. I'm adding the CA user into CA member group. Later point of time when we assign the uh, privileges. So just for that particular purpose. We are using this. Okay. Let me create one more group. Service broker admin. Service broker member. Create a user SB admin.
So I'm making this user part of the SB admin group. So we have VRA OU and we have a user account. So how to get the details in LDAP format? So log into the domain controller, go to the tools and go to the Active Directory users and computers. So before that, sorry, yeah. let's create one service account. Okay, I have a service account called as a VMW IDM. So if not exist, you people can create one service account. So let's look at how to get the details in LDAP format. Go to the tools, ADSI edit. So if it is not connected, go to the ADSI, right click on this and say call this and connect to. So it pops up the default message. Just select the default one then we will see this one. So the first thing which you see called as in the domain name in LDAP format, which is DC equal to ALVRA comma DC equal to data. Right click on this one, go to properties. So you'll find one distinguishing name. So this is our domain name. So I'm going to the notepad. A domain name is alvra.net in LDAP format. It is in DC is equal to alvra comma DC equal to net. So edit domain name in LDAP format. Service account details in LDAP format. Go to the ADS edit. So navigate to the manage service accounts. So under that we would see the IDM. Right click and say properties of the object. Then we would see distinguishing name. Just view this. So copy this. So this is your the service account details. So in LDAP format, the password and were you details in LDAP format where the groups and users exist. So go to here, AD, go to tools, ADS edit. So this is my OU where my user accounts are available. Right click, properties, distinguishing name, view. So copy this. So navigate to the, the OU and right click on that OU and select the distinguishing name, open it and copy that. So this is my, this styles where the user accounts and groups are available. And my IP address of the domain controller is 198.168.72.10. So you can use FKDN name or you can use the IP address. All right. So we have now all the information which is required to integrate. Now let me minimize this. So second step, the first step is keep all the information. Second step, log into, okay, AD VRA Identity Manager. And configure it. So I'm opening browser.
log in with the administrator account. So I give, you have to give URLs capital S A S slash admin. Right. So once you log in, so go to the users and groups. As of now, we don't see any AD user accounts. These are local user accounts. Go to the groups. As of now, we see that nothing is available. Nothing is available. Okay. Then I'm going for identity management and access management. Okay. Click on directories. As we see system directory, add a directory. Active directory over LDAP. So domain name, that is the directory name. It is the IP address of the domain controller. Here, you have to provide the IP address of the domain controller. Active directory over LDAP, active directory integrated. If your AD forest has a multiple domains and you want to allow all the domains in the forest then you can see integrate windows authentication so it will convert the the identity manager appliance as a member of the ad if you want to get details of a specific ad domain in the forest then you can go for active directory over ldap so i'm going active directory over ldap it's going to create a connector which is going to synchronize the user accounts from ad to the at regular intervals of time. If you are using an HTTPS or a TLS, that means that on a domain controller, if it doesn't, TLS is being enabled, where LDAP S is being enabled, then we can enable that. If not, base DN. So, where are your user accounts to search? Select, go to the edit domain name LDAP format, copy the LDAP format of the domain name. And now. now you don't want to find the user accounts from the entire AD domain, then you want to find user accounts from a specific OU, you can also specify. Bind DN, it is a service account, okay, which through which we are going to authenticate to the AD and pull the or synchronize the user account. So go to the service account details. Copy the service account. Paste it. Bind user password. So enter the password, whatever the password you collected. Then do a test connection. So it should get successful. If you are not getting it, something there is a problem. 
with your credentials or with the the bind dn so click on save and next So it is going to display the domain name based on the configurations. So select the domain, click on next. Right. So map user attributes. So in AD, in AD application, When we are creating a user account, we are seeing called as a first name, last name, display name, description, office, like these things, and initials. In some other applications, they call first name is a given name, last name is a surname, or in some applications, they give the first name then last name like each and every application maintains now identity manager application has an attribute called as a last name first then first name then email then username which is minimum required then like phone and everything now in ad what is the attribute or a property which refers to the last name here is given a surname sn means surname how do we know that what are the attributes? Go to the Active Directory. Go to the ADSI edit. Select one of the user, you will come to know it. So I'm just selecting the user one. Properties of this one. These are the attributes. We can see attributes. Expand it. Now based on the information which you give, you will find it. We see display name is this one. The proper attribute name is the display name. We want last name and first name. Given name is we are a user one. The first name is a given name, the attribute. So there we are calling when I go to the user accounts. So the first name is an attribute which is called as a given name. So we have to refer to this particular one. Let me properties. So I need last name. What is the property which is basically setting the last name? Name the one which we give, it is a display name. 1A. We can see SN is A. Okay. Surname is a. so he is mapping this attribute the last name is sn in ad the first name is a given name in ad email address so is the mail but this mail property doesn't have any details so it will give you error that the information is not available We can see mail. So as we have not specified the 
email address property you will get an error because there is no data whatever the fields which we are giving it there there should be data first name there should be a value last name there should be a value initials then email ID there should be a value so I'm saying we are a user to instead of that so I'm going to use a property called as an user principal name instead of I cannot go and do it for each and every one okay. I see user principal name we are a user one at the rate we are as I have not specified the email ID on the user property so instead of that my user principal name refers to my email ID so in the ID attributes mail I'm giving it user principal name last name so make sure that in the initial section you have some data in the initial section if you don't have a data then you can select the property called as an a name you can select called as an a name okay if you have given it or you can select called as a CN so I'm giving it a surname or you can use it called as a given name also based on your requirement now user account login account by default it will be Sam account name rest other fields if you if you want to replicate something then you can replicate so click on click on next select the groups you want to synchronize to what kind of groups you want to synchronize from where you want to synchronize so select the OU now OU details in LDAP format where the groups and users are existing so copy this OU details and just specify it here now find groups now we can see there are four groups available in that click on that it will show you four groups CA admin CA member SB admin SB member select all the four to synchronize so click on next so you can select you can say select all so in future if you create a one more group so it will automatically get synchronized click on next select the users you would like to synchronize so explicitly you can specify a user account okay if you are using a groups mechanism and you don't want to synchronize the use and by using the way of groups you don't want to use the user account you want to use only a groups to assign permissions then you can ignore this section but if you want to use the user account specify the DN LDAP format of the OU where the user accounts are existing click on next now it's saying seven users okay it's giving a warning missing required attributes last name for causer so it means that yeah there is something issue So edit it now you can schedule it sync frequency at what regular intervals of time you want to synchronize once per day every hour every 15 minutes manually I'm saying every 15 minutes okay there is an while uh, verifying the directory configuration the following errors occurred you might want to resolve these errors before synchronizing the last name for causer that means for one of the user there is a last name is not being specified so let me go to the which is the user yes so we can see called as in this user doesn't have the initial let me check all the users you ensure that these details are being available ca user ca admin we use that one two 
let me check this user it is there okay otherwise we would see called as an error over here okay so i configured the sync to be run every 15 minutes now configure the sync directly edit user pn okay we have selected that and click on sync directory now sync is enabled okay sync is enabled now sync and alerts you would see some alerts which is there so it is giving you for one of the user the last name is basically missing it it's still no problem so refresh the page now the sync is happened now so at any point of time when you create a user account in a group in ad and you immediately you want to synchronize it come to the identity management go to the directories on the ad environment click sync now it doesn't wait for the schedule it is going to synchronize immediately so go to the users and groups now we should be able to see yes now we can see the the user accounts which got synchronized and we can see the groups got synchronized got synchronized okay so this way we can integrate the the active directory with vra identity manager so in the next lab we'll look at the how do we assign permissions and and we are in environment